Apply OVD inside the nozzle and grooves of the loading chamber. Observe the markings on the lens edges. These will be used to identify correct positioning of the lens in the cartridge. Remove the IOL from the lens holder. The use of an angled, non-toothed, fine forceps is recommended. Fully open the wings with your index finger and thumb, then place the IOL inside the cartridge centered in the middle. The markings should be at 4 o'clock to the right and 10 o'clock to the left. Ensure that the IOL is completely positioned under the guiding rims on both sides by carefully tucking the haptics under the ridges using a fine forceps. To ensure a downward exit of the leading haptics from the nozzle, a reverse U-folding is recommended. Observe the shape by slowly closing the wings. Make sure to close the cartridge in a slow and controlled manner until the click lock mechanism engages. In case of any resistance while closing, reload the IOL. Before starting the injection, Visually observe that the lens is symmetrically folded within the loading chamber and is not trapped. Fill in viscoelastic solution from the back of the loading chamber without touching the eye well. Add a drop of viscoelastic on the plunger tip. Apply the push-pull technique. First, push the lens into the conical part of the nozzle with the plunger. Then, pull the plunger back until the silicone tip is separated from the trailing haptics. Inject the lens continuously in a slow and controlled manner until the lens has fully unfolded. Do not over push the silicone tip.